Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Trevor and welcome to another video. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, money making in World of Warcraft right now. Um, this is this this video is going to be pretty specific to this time in the game, uh, which is pre-Legion. Uh, it's about two weeks before, two and a half weeks or so before Legion comes out. Um, the pre-patch is out. Demon Invasions and Demon Hunters were just released two days ago. And so there's a little bit of money that can be made from a couple of things. Uh, one, I don't think you're going to be able to get the the pet from the demon invasions for much longer um, after these events stop when Legion comes out. So while the pets probably won't sell for very much right now, um, there's good reason to believe that they'll eventually go back up in price once they're no longer available. At least I'm assuming that's going to be the case. I sold one for really, really cheap just because um, I wanted to sell it and I wanted to get some fast money while it was worth a lot right now. And I did manage to. Um, however, I think it would be even better to just save them up and and sell them. Um, but that really hasn't been the big money maker for me. Um, as of late, a lot of things aren't in as high of demand just because people aren't really raiding as much as they were before and so one of the big things i've been doing is tome of illusions um tomes of illusion so these are basically uh, little books that you can make as an enchanter and when you make it you basically collect the appearances for different enchants depending on the tomb the tome so the, you've got Tome of Illusions for Azeroth, which is, you know, classic vanilla. Uh, you have Outland, Northrand, Cataclysm, Elemental Lords, Pandaria, Secrets, Secrets of Shadowpan, and Draenor. Uh, the ones I've been crafting are Azeroth, Outland, Cataclysm, and um, Pandaria. I don't have the Elemental Lords yet because you need to get revered with the Therizane. Actually... I might have revered with Therizine on another character. I just realized that. Um, in essence, what you do here is um, at each level that would have been appropriate for those enchants, you're able to train for the, these tomes at your enchanting trainer. So Tome of Illusions Azeroth can be taught by the trainer at 275. The Outland one can be taught at 350 and so on. Um, once you train for it, you basically need to go and get some old materials that were relevant during that expansion, uh, which is really nice because it adds value um, to these old materials that used to really not ever get farmed at all. Um, and it creates a little demand for them, which also allows you to be able to go and farm these for, for, for raw cash. Not raw cash, but you can farm the materials and just sell them by themselves if you'd like to do that instead. Um, so for the Tome of Illusions Azeroth, you need, um, 10 large brilliant shards, 5 essence of fire, 5 essence of water, 5 essence of undeath, and then some light parchment. Um, the essence of fire is really, really cheap, I find, most of the time, because a lot of people are always doing Molten Core weekly, um, for overrides, or for, you know, legendary weapon, or whatever. And so, essence of fire is pretty easy to come by. I usually buy that off the auction house. Essence of water and essence of undeath can sometimes be a little bit expensive on my server. I'm not on a really high population server, so sometimes there's just not much of it, and so I've had to go and farm those myself. Um, there's some pretty easy ways to farm these, though, and it's actually not bad gold right now. Um, I'll go ahead and show some clips in the video of me farming some of those. Um, as far as the large, brilliant shards go, you do black rock black rock depths for that one and you can actually get a pretty decent amount of shards and it's it's actually good money as well because on my server right now the the brilliant shards are like i want to say they're like 100 gold each and you can get like 10 to 12 per run and so you're making over 1k per run of black rock depths which is not bad at all um for the tome of illusions outland Almost everything is cheap except to buy, except for the Primal Fire. Um, the Primal Fire, I farm... You could farm in Elemental Plateau, of course, but then I, I've found that Elemental Plateau isn't as good because you have a lot of people um, hopping between servers, 
server instances, or it's just, there's not just, there's not enough there, it seems like. And so what I do is I go to Hellfire Peninsula and uh, the Throne of Kill Jaden has some elementals there that drop, um, not primal fires, but um, motes of fire. And, and you obviously can, can combine those to make primal fire. Um, it's a little bit more annoying than elemental plateau because you have to mount up and fly in between each of the mobs for the most part um, but it does to me seem to be faster because you're never waiting for respawns um, for cataclysm and pandaria honestly i just had a lot of leftover stuff in my bank in my banks for my alts and stuff and so I had I just I had like 50 maelstrom crystals and a bunch of shock crystals and sometimes I find these uh these items cheap on the auction house. I mean, volatile earth I had like 600 of those somewhere and so I was just just grabbing volatile air and heavenly shards from the auction house and making those um I I really am enjoying these because I'm actually having fun going back and farming some of the materials too, which seems weird, but it's nice to get out of the city and actually um, farm some stuff every now and then. Um, but yeah, I, I've found that those are on my server at the very least are selling quite well. Um, hopefully making those and farming some of those materials works out for you. Um, besides that, I am just kind of sitting here eagerly awaiting the release of Legion and kind of prepping in the meantime. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.